I'm Ian from the Video Standards I'm Council. I'm Matthew from Cheers. Have you ever played a game your parents won't let you play? Well, I'm allowed to play most games when I'm over a mate's house, but there's some games that I'm not allowed to play in the house. I'm not allowed to play like GTA, any games that have like nudity and stuff like that. Any like full on horror games. What would you say your parents are most worried about you seeing in a game? I don't think my mum really cares about blood and stuff. You think they're more worried about kind of sexual content as yeah, opposed to violence? Yeah, like online interactions. You find it quite easy to spot when you're spending your own real money versus when you're spending virtual money? Uh, yeah, definitely. Ask my mum and dad before I make like purchases and stuff. And if they say no, I'm like, all right. Why do you think some games are rated 18? Blood and gore and news and stuff like that. Yeah. Get like those cartoon games. They're rated like 16 for some reason. So there's a few reasons why a game can get 16 for violence. So it either needs to be realistic looking violence towards a human character or if it's particularly bloody or gory kind of 2D arcade style which can be a Wait, bit cartoony. Wait, you know Super Meat Boy's age rating? 12. Oh, good. <laughs> I know why GCA and stuff like that is, is Adrian, it's pretty obvious. But then you get games like Spider-Man, which literally has a guy who has some web things that shoots some at people. When we look at violence, particularly at Peggy 16, we have to decide objectively if it's realistic looking violence. So do the characters react? as they would in real life to getting kicked and punched and shot. And what you had in Spider-Man, which you won't necessarily get in, in the cartoons, is you've got characters using machine guns on each other, and you've got realistic kicks and punches, and it's so intense throughout the game, so it's not just one or two instances. So we can't take into account whether it's part of a franchise or whether it's like popular kids, um, like TV show. So same issue with Star Wars which is a well-known franchise, yeah. but we can't take that into account with the rating. All we can do is say, are these characters human and is the violence realistic? And if it is, we have to give it a, a Peggy 16. Because well, sometimes I see on the internet, like parents being mad at like GTA for being so like realistic, but they don't realize that they've actually bought the game for their child. So they're just being mad at the developers for some reason. Do you yeah. think they knew what they were buying at the time, or do you think they were shocked well, by it? I had it? an 18, so, well, so I reckon they would. Do you think parents pay attention to age ratings as much as they should? No. They should actually look at what the game is before they have a go at people for it.